all over the place. He's a messy worker. Check this out. We got a new project that's happening. And this project is really special for me. Can't wait for y'all to see it. That's my dad, and I'm adventure bro number two. And I bet you're wondering how I got here. Well, it all started with a car that I used to drive nine years ago. Sit back and enjoy watching this car come back to life. See So I bought it back from the guy we sold it to nine years ago. He never did anything with it literally sat up on concrete out in the sun so there's tons of damage sun damage cosmetic damage nothing really major and we're working on it this weekend and trying to get it running so i'm going to show you what we installed on it we've got a new starter and we think that might be the issue of why it won't turn over for us but we're going to check this thing out and by the end of this weekend by the end of this video you'll see it running that's a guarantee so I'll be back and forth from Beaumont to Austin working on this vehicle until I actually buy my house and bring it to Austin so I can have this to work on by myself. Right now, I'm really thankful for my dad. He's really helping me a lot. We actually worked on this together back in 2012 when I originally got it as a project car for uh, my high school daily driver. But um, we're gonna work on it again until we get it up and running, get the brakes done and all of that other stuff so it's actually drivable. If you like this content, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Find us on all social medias at The Adventure Bros Show where it's more than just fishing. You won't find content like this anywhere else. Peace. Still on, right? Yep. Turn the uh, key. Key fall. Hold on, great. Oh, right now we're bleeding the brakes, but I think we might have gotten it started running, so. Stay tuned, please. All right. We're done with weekend one. What we changed was the starter. I actually messed up on a piece of the starter, so we had to mess with it a little bit and uh, add our own little parts to it. So we'll get a brand new starter in there eventually, but for now, it works. Um, we also bled the brakes we wanted to make sure that we could drive it after weekend one that was our big goal is to be able to actually drive it and you'll actually be able to see that uh, here soon so I'm gonna do a quick startup for you we've got all of the interior pretty much out took most of the carpet out I'm sure you can see that the seats are out we've taken all of this liner out as well we're going to be replacing this. This car was originally buckskin, is the color tone. 
Buckskin 1977 Corvette. L82. So I'm going to get a, a, a good start, and hopefully you all enjoy that. But, um, yeah, we've got we put down some rust protectant there. Basically paint that goes over so that it doesn't rust anymore, that silver stuff you see down there. We did have one spot in the floor that rust just prevailed. Unfortunately, you know, that happens, so we're going to use this metal piece to go here. We'll cover it up. It's going to take just a patch job, and then we'll put dynamat on top of that, and then carpet on top of the dynamat. Now again, this car is not completely ready. We tried to get the brakes working and um, for the most part, the front brakes work. We did have a little bit of, they weren't grabbing, but other than that, we're gonna get them right. The back brakes, they're getting fluid to them, but that's just something that we're gonna have to work on. Again, this car has been sitting for nine years. And y'all are about to witness the first start on video in nine years and again the first time this car has driven in about eight or nine years since we sold it to this guy since i drove it back in high school all right here we go so what we're gonna do is hooking our terminals up so that we can actually get power to the start Boom. We like the sound of that. Well, there you go. We bought a fuel filter that goes into the carburetor so that obviously we want clean fuel going into our carburetor. The one that we had before it was all bent up, but as you can see, we got a running vehicle. Our instrument cluster, gauges, they're working. Our oil flex pressure is not working right now. But when you see me driving in the video, the mile per hour is working. Our tachometer was not working. But we'll get this thing right. Stay tuned. And remember, like, comment, and subscribe. We're really trying to get to 10,000 followers, 10,000 subscribers, whatever it is. That's our big goal for the next year and year and a half. If you could, please share this, comment this, and... Uh, Remember, it's more than just fishing. We do outdoors content, we do fishing stuff. And we also have a deep passion for working on vehicles because of our dad. He's built so many different cars and uh, we, we've really taken that on as well. So stay tuned for more adventures on the Adventure Bro Show. You won't find content like this anywhere else. Peace.